Feeling a bit short on mana. Your sentence is death. Feeling a bit short on mana. There is no escape. You belong to me. Big just means more places to stick a blade. Hey Crawlers, welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Hardcore Progression. Guys, we are level Pumpernickels. Uh, changed the name here, uh, decided to, to change something around, so I remade the character. Um, so yeah, uh, by the time you guys are seeing this, is actually a, uh, this was a couple days ago from the point in which I uploaded this, just so you guys know I'm a bit a ahead of this right now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I wanted to change things around on my build a little bit. Again, I will put down uh, a link to the build in the description. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys the way uh, I'm going about leveling the character. Um, we are currently in uh, prison at the moment. Now you could have done that just by opening up the map. Lower prison, again, showing Hardcore League. Uh, we are level 9 at the moment, and here are the spells that I'm using. I've got my two sets of Fire Trap that I planned on using. Um, I am using Freezing Pulse uh, for when I get, like, a, a lot of mobs. This is just, like, my backup uh, spell. Um, this is the one I planned on using to level, run around, you know, just start pulsing stuff out at them. I even have my set of uh, wands for it in case I wanted to use it. Uh, but I actually ending up going with my silver branch here, bow. Uh, what's great about this is uh, it has a plus two to level of bow gems in the item. So my actual, my poison arrow is actually two levels higher than it should be. It's putting out a lot of a lot of damage. Um, it is a basically when I shoot this thing, it'll give this like cloud. Basically, oh, this entire area is just an AOE damage thing. It doesn't last too long. But usually lasts long enough, I only have to shoot it once and it kills everything before it dissipates. So it's really awesome. Also, my backup is my uh, uh, Reign of Arrows. Uh, and to go with this, guys, look at this. Plus 10 to mana gained when you kill an enemy. Right now, I do not run out of ammo at all. Um, this is a really great starter weapon for any class. If you guys think you're going to die in Hardcore, please remove that Silver Branch. And keep it in hardcore for your other hardcore characters. It's gonna make a huge difference. Also, to go with it, I have this broad stroke uh, heavy quiver, which is a really nice item. Uh, adds one to four damage. I'll, I'll be going out of this pretty soon, though. This isn't a great item, but it's a really good item. Also, I should note that although this gem shows that it requires level five, the weapon does not actually require any level, so you can get it right off the bat at level two, which is awesome. Uh, I just noticed that that actually needs to be leveled. What level is that? My poison arrow? I wonder. I'm actually going to test that out right now. Can't If I put it in another slot... Nope, still can't level it. Okay, just wanted to see if I could level it. And put you in it. There we go. Uh, anyways, okay, so... I've got my two traps, I've got my poison arrow. Um, so with the combination of my traps and my poison arrow... You guys can see that if I throw a trap down and it explodes, I'm going to have an AoE damage of fire. And using this right here pretty much dis destroys everything. Um, it's the best AoE I think you can get. Like, it's just really easy. Um, you don't have to be anywhere near the mobs, which is great. And, like, you could hit this. You could hit one of these. Stand at a distance and freeze pulse them. 
fr and freeze pulse them to death. That'll slow them down before they can get to you. Just an idea. Um, and I also have bear trap. Bear trap is for bosses. I use this to stop a boss, keep him where he is in the AOE. So then I throw down all my stuff and do a little damage and what have you. Uh, so yeah, it's a really nice combination of spells for you guys who are wanting to level up this uh, type of character. Again, guys, this character is going to be a fire trap, uh, crit based sort of uh, sort of thing. Um, I'm still wavering on whether or not I want to go with uh, inoculum illusion, whatever the hell it's called. Oh, hold on. Forget, always forget the name of this thing. Uh, Chaos Inoculation. Uh, basically, it ma maximum life becomes one, and you become immune to damage. I have not found it viable to actually only have energy shield as your health source. I, I have not found that that is a good idea so far. Um, so I'm not really... I, I'm really up in the air at the moment. For what I want. However, I know I do want evasion and energy shield either way, so th that's the gear types I'm going to be heading towards. Um, nothing fancy with my potions. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, at the moment, I do have some pretty decent gear. Um, nothing spectacular, but enough to get me by, that's for sure. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Just to show you guys my progression here and what I'm heading towards first. Um, I started off with spell damage uh, going in in this line here into elemental damage that'll help with my fire and into uh, mental acuity acuity mental acuity okie dokie uh, plus is plus 22 intelligence and 30 to increase the critical strikes which of course critical strikes we're going to need and intelligence we're going to need uh, then I went over here into uh, maximum life uh, these two right here um, as far as all the nodes, this is going to be the best node you're going to want to get right here. This 8% and then into this 12%. Because with the two nodes, you're getting 20%. As opposed to over here, everything is just 8. And again, over here, everything is just 8. So you're really not getting any other good nodes. This is the best to go with. I will probably, if I do go with, uh, if I do go with this right here, this chaos uh, inoculation, I will be specking out of this health right here however I do not know yet so just so you guys know uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and I went into the fire I'm gonna be going to blaze fire damage and into spell power for more critical strike damage then I will be focusing on all of this critical here these three okay and then I'll move up here and into the traps and that's sort of my base location and by the time you guys see me again I will be probably within the traps or at least into this critical strike chance so that's it for today guys uh, oh 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 let me see any any tips I learned okay uh, one of the tips I learned guys is um, with the sockets uh, two things one you want to look for items that are RBG RBG is worth uh, where an item has three sockets a red a blue and a green and all of them are linked together so that is one thing you want to look for and what you're going to get out of that if you sell it to a vendor is a chromatic orb the chromatic orbs will allow you to randomly change the item or the socket colors uh, and so that's going to be really important you guys are going to need those for later on so keep an eye on those for sure second thing guys with your second weapon sets uh, you can place spell shards into the second set and even though you're not actually using the second set like I could stay in here in my wands and use my abilities uh, with my wands and these over here this one this poison arrow will still level so just so you guys know even if you don't have the slots on here and you want to level it up you want to level up your uh, your spells with you just equip some um, some stuff with the right gem sockets you need and there you go. You'll be able to level it up right with you. All right, guys. That's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys learned something, please like the video. And as always, guys, keep crawling and peace out. Keep